Whew, all right, it is Sunday, August 2nd. We're back from vacation. Let's see what the damage is. We did okay at camp, but last night, not so good. Oof. All right, there you have it, 140.5. I had a feeling it was gonna be something like that. Alrighty, we are home from camp. We just stepped on the scale there. That was eye-opening. I'm not really that surprised. Um, I didn't do that bad at camp. We stuck to the four and two, but we did have a lot of extras. Nothing got weighed, nothing got measured. Um, and then when I got home from camp, I was like, oh my God, I've been craving like Chinese food, like nothing on program. I'm like, and I'm gonna get it. So August 1st, I did get the General Gao's chicken, the crab rangoon, the egg roll, and the pork fried rice. And uh, those were my last two fuelings yesterday. Um, so yeah, I knew today's weigh-in was gonna be extra bad. And that's okay, that's okay, because I really wanted it and I kept thinking about it and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get it. So I have been mostly not great on plan at camp, but decent, and I was like, all right, we'll just end this week <laughs> with one last hurrah. We got the Chinese food. There's probably a million, quadrillion sodiums in me messing with the water, fine. All right, so today we're gonna get back on program. I think I'm gonna give myself like this week to kind of get back to a five in one. And then I'm toying with the idea of doing an August fat burn blitz, maybe just the second week of August. What do you think? Drop some comments down below. Do you need a fat burn blitz? I think I do. Um, I need some time to go food shopping. There's nothing in my house. So I gotta get some lettuce. I gotta get some fish. I gotta get some shrimp. I gotta get some spinach. I gotta get some guacamole. Um, and then maybe next week we'll do an August fat burn blitz. That sounds pretty good. Um, I know this is like a huge number compared to where we were. We were hanging around 135, you know, we were down as low as 133 before we left for camp, but uh, I don't really think a lot of this is real. I'm hoping a lot of this is water weight. Uh, I guess in a couple days, maybe like three days, I'll let myself weigh in again. And uh, hopefully we'll have lost all the glycogen and all the water weight and it won't be as horrible as it was this morning. Okay, uh, we are starting our day with our chocolate shake, our coconut coffee, which we missed very much. Mmm, that's delicious. We gotta flush a whole bunch of sodium out of our body today. So we're gonna try to maybe do a pure water day. So this is our first 24 ounces. Make sure we drink four of these. Um, and then uh, I'll see you in a couple hours for first snack. Okay. Just went for a little walk around the neighborhood. We're gonna have our crunchy O's with our vanilla almond milk as our condiment this morning. I gotta make sure we use that up before we go on the blitz. So this is what's for fueling too. And I'll see you a couple hours for lunch fueling. Okay. About 2.30, we're gonna do the smoky barbecue crunchers. It's kind of a lazy Sunday over here. Uh, I'm gonna see what's on TV, check it out, and think about what we're gonna make for a leaning green tonight. I haven't had to cook for myself all week, kind of spoiled. All right, I can do it. I can make a lean and green. Thinking shrimp, maybe some cauliflower rice. Woo, I know, go back to the roots. All right, I'll see you in a couple hours for the lean and green. Time to start the lean and green. We're gonna defrost our shrimp. We're gonna get our frozen cauliflower rice out of the freezer and mix this up. Here's our riced cauliflower. We're gonna nuke that for about four minutes. Then we'll grill up the shrimp. All right, throw the shrimp in the frying pan. We threw a little uh, parsley, a little adobo, salt, pepper on there. So throw the rice in there in a minute, right? Well, six minutes, three minutes each side for the shrimp. Then we'll throw the rice in, mix it up. And the whole thing is today's lean and green. All right, for our healthy fat, we're gonna throw this wedge of laughing cow cheese in here. 
Count the olive oil as the other fat. And this is what's for dinner. It's a little early. It's about 4.30, but this is my, well, this is one of my favorite lean ingredients to just whip together. You don't have to have anything pre-defrosted. Everything was just in the freezer and it's a huge amount of food. So when you're all done eating your cauliflower rice with your shrimp and your wedge of laughing cow cheese, you are full. So this is exciting. I'm gonna have my dinner in a couple hours. We'll have first dessert. All right, see you in a few. Ready for first dessert. We're gonna do the creamy double peanut butter bar and have some decaf coffee. I'll see you in a couple hours for second dessert. All right, it's like pouring out all of a sudden. I don't know what's going on. We got our pudding, we mix it up with some vanilla decaf. This is gonna be our second dessert. Whew, it's rough getting back on the five and one. And we definitely had to get a little uh, pickles in there. So we had our optional snack to get through today. Ah, uh, we didn't manage to just drink water. There was definitely some crystallite involved, but we uh, we are gonna have one more glass of water to make sure we get all 100 ounces of pure water in today. I think we did it. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Put some comments down below. What do you think for August? You in for the fat burn blitz for the second week of August? Sounds good. All right, let me know what you're thinking and I'll uh, see you tomorrow.